Jesus, I shock Jesus Christ. This Nigerian is not normal. Ah, omo, omo, omo. I fear this is Jesus Nigerians. You suppose no waiting this guy do during 30 December. This guy has proven everybody wrong. Even me, the guy shocked me. You understand? This is how you change the narrative about 30 December. This is how you show every enemy. This is how you show any person that has been talking rubbish about Nigeria 30 December. That has been trying to make 30 December look like it is an event of useless people drinking, partying, and wasting their lives. This guy corrects that rubbish. This guy corrects that narrative. He show everybody, say 30 December in Nigeria is not just by artist performing it's not the video coming doing concert it's not whiskey filling up stadium it's not bonaboy coming out to give one hundred thousand dollars to prisoners and people who cannot pay hospital bills it's not about uh worldliness it's not just about nonsense you know Ghanaians were saying they will not do 30 december again because 30 december is attributed to oh all this kind of rubbish life oh i don't want to associate myself to it that's the excuse they were giving but this nigerian is like he knew that that was going to happen Okay, it be like this guy was aware that some people would try to use 30 December to tarnish Nigeria's reputation. You understand? And he gave the perfect response, the perfect answer, and the perfect reply. So if you, <laughs> if you are one of those people who thought 30 December in Nigeria was just about people leaving America, leaving UK, leaving London, leaving wherever they want to live and come to Nigeria just to club every day just to drink every day just to shower every day just to the do one or two every day to the knock to the do a shower to the do this one to the do this one just they populate the place with noise and not not achieve anything tangible and great then i'm sorry bro this our nigerian brother has failed you nigeria has failed you and has failed you woefully because you need to follow this video and see what this ogre has achieved he used 30 December to win Guinness World Record. He used 30 December to show China, to show America, to show Europe, the rest of the world, the entire world, that Nigeria, even with 30 December, can still be the world champions, can still be breaking Guinness World Record, can still be achieving incredible things, can still be breaking unbelievable records and winning incredible awards and achievements. So, are you ready for this, our brother? Are you ready to see what Nigerians can use 30 December to do? <laughs> oh, well, nothing sweet we reach this one. I personally, I personally, I, I understand with people who, who don't buy the idea of clubbing, drinking, partying. I, I, I agree with those people because I don't, I don't agree with December. 30 December should never be about that. So I, I, it's not like I'm laughing at them. No, I agree with anybody that has that concept that if 30 december is truly all about parties and all those things those vulgar life and stuff then they don't want to be associated with there are nigerians who truly don't even want to associate themselves with such lives and i myself i wouldn't want to be part of like i know that yes at least i can go out and have fun i can go out up to the club i can go out and chill i can go out and flex i can go out and have fun but to say that it should be all about that in 30 december then we are leading to a wrong path you understand then because very soon if we if we do it all about that it means that eventually the message will go out to the world that nigeria is the only when you go to nigeria for 30 december that's all you can do so if you are a doctor if you want to come and experience medicine in a different dimension you cannot come to nigeria if you want to come and experience technology in a different dimension you don't come to nigeria if you want to come for educational purpose or for something that is more elevating to your spirit to your career to your soul don't come to nigeria you understand so if, if we have to make sure that it's clear out there that dirty december in nigeria is not dirty it's not all about dirty no it's also about improving winning growing connecting with people that can change your life because there will be events that cut across all different kinds of field that can actually help you progress so we have to put it out there so that it should not be just a, a musical event and all those kind of things and that's why i am super proud that this 
achievement is coming out at this particular point in time that's why i'm super excited and super glad that something like this has been happening and something like this is being done so that the message will go out there clearly and so if you are one of those people who like to see nigeria's 30 december also coming in with accomplishments in different fields that are actually showcasing nigeria's value in education in technology in different fields then of course you want to make sure you share this video yes you want to make sure you push it around you want to make sure that everybody watches and sees that wow my country is not just there to to be doing uh shayo 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 my country is there to break records and bring in tangible results you get the point so yes we are celebrating a nigerian who has bricked a guinness world record in cloud engineering while others are jumping up and down, we go they hey. While others are doing the video, the video, the video. Others are doing bona boy, bona boy, bona boy. Others are doing whiskey, whiskey. Others are doing rema, rema. Ozeba, Ozeba. Oh God, say no. We are also having dirty December party by just doing engineering, technology, cloud, hmm? cloud. So Oga go sit down. He said no. Let me do something that would put Nigeria on the map. And so this brother, who is a cloud engineer, he set a Guinness World Record in programming. Programming. Those of you who are into technology, those of you who are into IT, you know what is programming. Programming is the foundation of every app. It's the foundation of every technology. It is basically like the algorithm that runs every digital platform. There is what we call programming. You understand? You have to program everything. Program the app. Program the system. Program this. So programming is a vital role. There are people that just do programming alone and they are millionaires. Yes, just programming. So don't think programming is a, is a smart, you know. It's very, very massive. So the guy set a Guinness World Record in programming. You know what is a Guinness World Record, right? Guinness World Record means nobody in the world has done it better than you. That's the meaning of Guinness World Record. Every time you hear somebody, I have a Guinness World Record in. Just know that that person is the number one in the world. Nobody. Now you begin to understand why I come out telling Chinese to be careful. I come out telling Americans and Europeans to be careful because the way Nigeria is coming, the way Africa is rising, the way these Nigerian boys are coming into this field of tech, they have to know that eh, their time is due because Nigeria will take over. And this is already the beginning of the taking over. These are the examples of the taking over. Because if you are the best in the world from Nigeria, of course, that means Nigeria is leading the world. So right now, as I'm talking to you, the world leading programmer in tech and IT is a Nigerian. And it is happening during 30 December. It is happening at a period where people think that Nigeria is all about party. <laughs> okay, calm down. It's not all about party is more than just party you get the point so nigeria born cloud engineer his name is ebel yakubu nigerians when i don't hear the name ebel yakubu you understand of the next edge technology he's based in germany has been officially confirmed by the guinness world record as the holder of the longest computer programming lesson the longest computer programming lesson the historic feat took place in abuja i want to i want to be, it took place where in abuja this guy is based in germany but during 30 december he left germany came all the way to nigeria to break guinness world record during 30 december in technology now make it sink in you understand during what 30 december he left germany came to nigeria to break guinness world record so this historic event took place in abuja between november 21 and 23 of December 2025. And this was the time where some people were jumping up and down doing Ozeba, Ozeba, which was also good. I'm not saying Ozeba, Ozeba was not, it was very, very good. Go and do more Ozeba, Ozeba, but let more people in tech come to and break Guinness World Record. You understand? So you see why I'm saying this, I'm doing this video because some Nigerians in the diaspora who want their children to really focus and learn and become great engineers great medical doctors great in different fields of life some of them will be like don't go to nigeria during december yes yeah, some of them will be like what's in nigeria that's that time is just people are just having fun people just want to party no people are also partying with guinness world records 
of a countdown. You understand? So Yakubu was Yakubu supported by 30 committed participants. You see, a group of people they decide to do the 130 December with tech. 30 participants and monitored by 20 independent witnesses led a 60-hour marathon lesson marketing a major milestone of Nigeria's growth, marking a major milestone of Nigeria's growth in tech ecosystem. You understand? Abel Yakubu of Next Edge Technology, with support of 30 committed participants and 20 independent witnesses, have been approved as the Guinness World Record title holder of the longest computer programming lesson, Yakubu announced in a statement. Yakubu. Okay? Your name sounds like Pesuwe the chop well. Yakubu. <laughs> Yakubu. Okay, Yakubu. You are doing well. If you stumble across this video, Yakubu, anybody that knows him, everybody in Nigeria that is into technology that stumble across this video, make sure you tell Yakubu that I, are Jim, I celebrate him. You understand? And he has actually done one of the best things that has happened in Nigeria this 30 December. Yep. This is for me the best message out there because it brings another narrative about Dirty December. It adds another narrative about Dirty December and it changes the conception that it's all about fun, enjoyment, knack, shawu, shayu, and many other things. Oh yeah, Nigeria lead and the world will definitely follow. It is what it is. Your boy Ajumag magazine on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because... There's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese!